if you are new to hiking or adventuring in the mountains, this selection is for you. These are top 10 classic hiking and mountain movies that one should absolutely check out. If your nerve deny you, go above your nerve. Emily Dickinson and Cheryl Strayed. Oh my God, what have I done? I'm sorry, you have to walk a thousand miles just to... Finish that sentence. Why do I have to walk a thousand miles? Happy trail, Cheryl. Turn, turn away from the sound of your own voice. You get lonely. I'm lonelier in my real life than I am out here. God, I miss you. My mother was the love of my life. You're using heroin, and you're having sex with anyone who asks. Life being all about ailments and funerals. I want to push myself. You want to hike the Appalachian Trail? 2,000 miles. You have gone mad. It's my old pup tent. It's the perfect place for you to spend the night. 2,000 people a year try to do this. Less than 10% make it. Fit people in their 20s can't do it, Dad. You want me to rain cover too? Rain cover? Why? To keep out the rain. You are not doing this alone. It's Katz. Stephen? Not Stephen Katz. You two ended up on each other's nerves in Europe. That was 40 years ago. I gotta eat every hour. Otherwise, I get these, uh, seizures? Seizures. That's right. Good luck. Try not to die, okay? We go. We go. What goes up must come down. What the hell happened to Dom? John Muir once said, sometimes a man just has to get a loaf of bread and throw it into a sack and jump over the back fence. You okay? Never better! We're not even halfway there. No way that's to scale. Map to scale. I'm sorry we lost touch. Emily too. Come on, a father-son trip. It'll be fun. Yeah, right. You know, most people don't have the luxury of just picking up and leaving it all behind, Daniel. We agreed that if I let you take me to the airport, you wouldn't lecture me about how I'm ruining my life. I lied. Hello. Are you the father of Daniel Avery? He was walking the road to Santiago de Compostela, 800 kilometers on the northwestern coast of Spain. This is everything he had when we found it. People have walked the path for over a thousand years. The way is a very personal journey, Mr. Avery. Daniel was my only child. We're gonna walk the Camino to Santiago, both of us. Come. This is the way. Stop! Come with me! Oi, I'm from Amsterdam. That's huh? What are you looking to score? <laughs> I love this guy. It wears off quick, I promise. Hello, I'm Jack from Ireland. How long have you been out here? On the Camino or on this particular spot? You pick. Well, jeez. Uh... Oh, no! Tom, your son. I'm so sorry, I had no idea. My son was almost 40. Yeah, but he'll always be your baby. What was your son like? Smart, confident, stubborn. Pissed me off a lot. He was a lot like you. Hey, that kid took my bag. Hey! Hey! You can keep the pack! Just give me the box! In a clock here in Canyonland, USA. Hey, Aaron. Mom still has not heard from you. Will you just call her, please? I'll talk to you soon. And this morning, on the boulder, we have a very special guest, Aaron Ralston! Oh gosh, it's a real pleasure to be here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Hey! You lost? I'm a guide. What do you say? <laughs> See, I'm something of a big and hard hero. All you have to remember is that everything will be okay.
chipping away. Mm. Want to keep warm than anything? I have about 150 milliliters of water left, which should keep me alive till tomorrow night. If I'm lucky. So that's it. Mom, Dad, I haven't appreciated you as I know that I could. I love you guys, and I'll always be with you. I always wondered how I was going to die, and now, now I know. Meru is the culmination of all I've done, and all I've wanted to do is this peak and this climb. Conrad's reputation among climbers is flawless. I only go on expeditions with people that I know and that I trust. When we got there and I looked up at the mountain, I didn't know what we were getting into. This is the test of the master climber. Jimmy and Conrad have climbed Everest four or five times. This is a whole different kind of climbing. 16 days up here. We lost half our food, and 90% of the mountain was still above us. The center of the universe is unattainable. The rewards of climbing are huge. The problem is you don't always come out of OK. People die, and then you can't justify it. That is the great dilemma. The idea of not climbing was too much to imagine. I've got two kids, my wife's there, and I'm responsible for them. I had this premonition. I didn't want him to go. We climb because it's fun. And mainly, it was fun. You know, that's all we ever did. And we were fairly anarchic and fairly irresponsible. And we didn't give a damn about anyone else or anything else. And we just wanted to climb the world. And it was fun. It was just brilliant fun. And, and then it wasn't. Why would I want a new car? Dotson runs great. I don't want anything. Everything has to be difficult. There are people in this world who go looking for adventure. <laughs> Christopher McCandless was searching for himself. So you're a leather now. I'm a leather? Yeah, a leather tramp. That's what they call the ones that hoof it. Don't you think you ought to be getting a job and making something of this life? I only got one plan. I'm going to Alaska. Alaska, Alaska? Or city Alaska? I'm going to be all the way out there. Yes. Yeah. In the wild. Just... What are you doing when we're there? Now you're in the wild. Just... What are you doing? You're just living, man. I read somewhere how important it is in life, not necessarily to be strong, but to feel strong, to measure yourself at least once. Where are your mom and dad? Living their lives somewhere. Do your folks know where you are? I was at Dreamwald. I didn't imagine it. I heard him. I heard him. I heard Chris. Son, how long have you been out here? A couple of weeks. And before that? I went to South Dakota. I worked for this guy named Wayne. What do you think about all this? I like all this. I took the Colorado River all the way down to the Grand Canyon and did rapids. What's the end stand for? North. You're a great Alaskan adventure.
you want something in life, reach out and grab it. You, my friends, are following in the very footsteps of history. Something beyond the power of words to describe. Human beings simply aren't built to function at the cruising altitude of a 747. Our bodies will be literally dying. Everest is another beast altogether. How you doing? I'm back. Doug Hanson. What do you do when you're not climbing, Doug? I deliver the mail. First mailman on Everest? Hope so. <laughs> I like that. Sit down, man. Climatize. How's the weather? It's good. I wish I was with you. One day, you, me, and that little Sarah will all go climbing together. So today's the day, huh? Kids, they see a regular guy can follow impossible dreams. Maybe they'll do the same. Uh, I'm on the top of Everest, Alan. We made it. Ah! Go to Rob. There is a massive storm headed your way. Oh, no. Come on, get up! That's the wrong way! Stop, let's go! Hurry up! I can make it, you can. Do you want to know? Does your boyfriend always get his way? Yes. Hello? Hey! You're ready to go. Your canoe will be right down there by the water. Need a map? No, no, I know this park well. Bear spray. You're not gonna need it. We'll be lucky to see anything bigger than a chipmunk. Of course you're going that way. This is the way. Trying to turn me on right now? Come on! Hello? Were you just walking by or you inviting me up for a chat? I give back country ego tours. You sure you don't need a guide? I already have one. You're a lucky man, Alex. <laughs> Why don't you fight him in the house next time? I said I'm sorry. Look good? Yeah. We are in the middle of nowhere. What is that? Uh, oh, that's acorns. It's far from the tree. different to be up there without a rope. It's obviously like much higher consequence. People who know a little bit about climbing, they're like, oh, he's totally safe. And then people who really know exactly what he's doing are freaked out. I've thought about all cap like for years and every yeah. year I'm like, that's really scary. <sighs> I'll never be content unless I at least put in the effort. El Cap is the most impressive wall on Earth. It's 3,200 feet of sheer granite. It's the center of the rock climbing universe. Obviously, I get interview questions about it all the time. Oh, would you like to do that? And you're like, yes, for sure. So you're a girlfriend now, I heard. It's awesome. <laughs> Pretty much makes life better in every way. It's really hard for me to grasp why he wants this. But if he doesn't do this stuff, he'd regret it. Everybody who has made free soloing a big part of their life is dead now. I haven't been injured in like seven years. I suddenly start getting injured all the time. What if something happens? <laughs> what if I don't see him again? I could just walk away, but it's like, I don't want to. I've always been conflicted about shooting a film about free soloing just because it's so dangerous. It's hard to not imagine your friend falling through the frame to his death. I think when he's free soloing, that's when he feels the most alive, most 
everything. How can you even think about taking it away from somebody? No mistakes tomorrow. It's starting to get kind of psyched. If you're pushing the edge, eventually you find the edge. I can't believe you guys are actually going to watch. Hey, Jimmy, do you copy? Just started climbing. And this was our list of top 10 classic hiking and adventure movies that you should absolutely check out at some point. If you guys have any other suggestions, let us know in a comment. We are always down to check and watch a new movie. If you do have a favorite from this list, also let us know in a comment. And if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We are Trekking Pals, Habiba and Alex, amateur hikers and backpackers, and we create videos every week.